Hey there team, it's Monday Night Live. It is Monday, February 12th. I had to think about that for a second. I even typed the date in the title of this Facebook Live. Okay, so we tonight are going to talk about home parties. Um, we have so much freedom and flexibility in how we work our businesses, which is amazing. We've got the ability to do vendor events. We can do online parties, catalog parties, party on the goes, which are kind of like catalog parties. Um, and then of course our home parties. Hey John, home parties are, and this is me not kidding. <laughs> you know, I like to kid and be fun. Home parties are the absolute best way to work your business. Um, that's the best way to grow a customer base. Um, that's the best way to get more parties. Hey, Carmelita. So yeah, home parties are amazing. And you know, I'm like an old lady zebra. I've been doing this for five years now. <laughs> and um, I have held a lot of home parties. Hey, Jennifer, lots and lots of home parties over the last five years. And now, um, because I I have just grown such a, a large customer base outside of my immediate area, I do a lot of online parties too. But I love it when I get to do a home party. I just had one, uh, what like, I don't know, a week and a half ago. It's just so much fun sharing our products like in person with people. Um, and I have another one coming up in March that I'm excited about too. It'll be a new group of people. It's a new host, someone who had never tried King Zebra before. She purchased at a party and booked her own party. Um, that's, that's exactly the outcome that we want. <laughs> we want to meet a new person who's never tried our products at a party. They buy it, fall in love, book their own party, and then introduce you to their friends. That's kind of like the perfect, um, I don't know, but I guess the, the perfect, uh, I can't even think of the word and my eyes really bother me. So that was weird. I'm sorry I did that on camera. <laughs> I guess the perfect progression or like a circle. What's another word for circle? Loop. We're going to say the perfect loop. Okay. So tonight we're, we're going to talk all about home parties. So I've got a couple, um, little just tips for you guys. Um, I keep all of my testers in this thermal tote from 31. If you guys haven't ever heard of 31, it's um, bags and totes and all sorts of like fun accessories. They have wallets. I don't have my wallet here, but it's from 31. So yeah, I, I really like their, their products. And so I got this thermal tote just for my testers. Um, and then I use a bunch of their bigger totes um, for carrying things. Hey Monique, carrying things to uh, parties and vendor events. And so I've got my testers separated by scent category. I bet, can y'all guess which one this category is? Um, <laughs> we have a ton of scents in this category. Um, so yeah, I don't have them in alphabetical order or anything like that, but I do have them on these rings that I got from Amazon. And I actually, um, I shared, so Monique, in case you didn't know this, you are part of the inspiration for tonight's Monday Night Live because you were asking me about how I transport my testers. Yes, you're right, John. These are all the baking scents. Um, you were asking me how I transport my testers, um, how I have them separated, and I was like, you know what? We, I need to talk about this in the group because I bet other people want to know too. So yeah, I'll post a link in the comments um, to where if you guys want to get any rings like this from Amazon, you can. But yeah, I just have all the scent categories um, separated. So as people are sniffing, you know, if they know that they don't like um, floral scents, then they don't even have to um, sniff them. They can just, you know, this is our, my floral ring. They can just say, no, thank you. I'm not going to sniff those. But most people at my parties sniff every ring. Um, so yeah, so it just keeps these organized. Otherwise, I just had a bag full, a bag full of testers. And you know what I would do? And this is not a bad idea, but this just works better for me. What I would do is I would um, set them up on these. I have these zebra um, plates, like chargers. 
I think Charters is like the fancy name, but yeah, these zebra platters. And I would just set up all my testers on there and that's fine. Um, but then I would have two platters and I'd have a couple people like huddled around one and a couple people huddled around up the other. And this is just easier for me. So yeah, so that's when I'm transporting my scent testers. So now, um, you may be wondering, once people are like sniffing them, like what do they do? Do they write down the ones that they like? Um, I actually created this pink zebra, I call it the love it list. And it has, um, whoops, every scent in alphabetical order. It has a place to check off if they love it, like it, or don't like it. Um, all our scents come in a carton, so all those are um, uh, marked yes, but then for the soaks column over here, um, just the scents that come in soaks are marked. So people know how they can purchase that product. So um, every scent we have comes in that 3.75 ounce jar. Every scent we have comes in a carton. It didn't always used to be that way, though. Um, and then little less than half of our scents come in the soaks. So yeah, so I love this. This is in the files section in our team group. If you haven't seen it, I highly recommend that you print it off. And because I love you guys so much, I update this every time the catalog changes. So this is definitely something that you're gonna wanna have. All right. So another thing that I do and this is not the best, um, the best uh, graphic, but <laughs> can you guys see me like peeking my head out underneath? Um, so I created this on Canva, and I let people roll a die at the home party, or I use this at vendor events too. And whatever number they get, um, that corresponds to an item. So. Um, let me just real quick explain to you guys like how I would play it. So um, I've got the big die. I usually have this like hidden face down. I don't have it just out for everybody to see. And I'll usually just randomly ask people to roll it and then write their number down on their order form if I'm at a home party. And um, then I'll say, all right, so what numbers did y'all get? And someone might say, oh, I got a four. And I'll say, okay, Susie, so um, if you book a party tonight, when we get together for your party, just for hosting, you're going to get one of our unscented lotions from me. Um, and I do that with everybody. And um, similar kind of concept at events, I basically mention to people at my vendor events, hey, you know, we do parties. <laughs> we do parties. I know that's like not maybe the most classy way to say it. Um, but I say, you know, if you want to, if you want to book a party tonight, you get to roll my die and you'd be surprised the people that will book a party just so they can roll the die. And I let them, you know, they can host a home party. They can host an online party. I don't do, I don't really do catalog parties. Um, if someone says they want to do a catalog party, I turn that into a Facebook party. Um, or a combination of the two, but there's always that online component because if you, so this is off topic, but on topic, but if you have someone host a catalog party for you, what's probably going to happen is they're going to collect all these orders, but they're not going to get you name, like they might get you first and last names, <laughs> but they're not going to get you, you know, address, contact info. There's like you basically the relationship with that customer, like it doesn't even start, but it's like a dead end kind of. So I'd rather do an online party where I at least have an opportunity to kind of like mingle with those people. But anyways, um, I use this, you know, at my home parties and my vendor events to book more parties. Okay. Another little tidbit for you. And this is a, something you can do or not do. Same thing for this. If you don't want to offer something like this to people to get them to book a party, you absolutely don't have to. But I just find that in being generous, um, it always, um, you know, the more you give, the more you get. That's, that's, um, been true or I've seen that. 
in my life. Okay, so this is, I don't even know what this is called, um, but I learned this from my friends, the tag team, and they recommended highlighting the fourth line on our order form, and when someone um, fills, you know, four lines, whatever they put on the fourth line, they can get it um, at a discount. I typically will give 20% off that one item. And the nice thing is, is that I'm not, I'm not losing money. Um, I'm not like losing my shirt in the deal. I'm basically just giving away part of my profit. But um, I started doing this probably about maybe, what year are we in? 2018? I started doing this in 2000. Uh, either 2015 or 2016. Um, I'd have to go back and look. I probably talked about it on YouTube. <laughs> um, but I um, saw after I started doing this that my average order per customer was more. People were spent, they were buying enough items to fill that fourth line. And then I even had some people fill eight lines and they were like, do I get a second item at a discount? And I was like, yes, you sure do. Um, so I went from, you know, 30 to $40 per customer at a home party. Um, I had, you know, 75, 80, up to $100 orders because people were taking advantage of that fourth line. So I definitely recommend doing this. Um, and like I said, you're not, you know, don't give them anything more than about 20%. If you aren't comfortable with that, do 10 or 15%. I mean, a discount is a discount. Um, but give them something so that they are incentivized to fill that fourth line. And you will see your, um, your party sales increase. The other cool thing about that is, I don't know if you guys know this, but if you have at least $900 in sales volume in a month, you get a 5% bonus. And so, um, in a way, that 5% bonus kind of makes up for any, any little discounts you do like this at a home party. So, totally worth it. Totally worth it. Okay, so, um, there's Alpine. She's here to party. Um, oh, that was a weird noise. I'm not sure what happened. Um, so I got these cute little fragrance ones. I don't know if you guys have seen these or not. Um, I don't, um, I don't use these a lot, but, um, they're fun for sending soaks samples. I mean, you could send a sprinkle sample, but there was a point in time where we only, we had some soak scents that only came in soaks. Um, but also this is fun if you have a couple different bottles of soaks at a party or an event and you want to let people, um, figure out, you know, what they, um, would smell like together. They could spray, like say you have three scents, they could spray one on each card and then, you know, spray one on each and then, you know, sniff them together. <laughs> just sharing that because I just think that's cool. I like these little things. They're cute. And that's something um, fun and interactive that you could do at your party. So if you're somebody who really loves soaks and you have a nice little collection of soaks that you want to take to your party, I would recommend you get some of these and then you can challenge the party guests and the host to create their own um, fun soaks recipes. All right. Another thing that I have are these rolls of tickets. Um, you can get these, what, like Party City, Walmart, probably other places, but that's the only places I've ever seen them at. Um, maybe a dollar store, but probably not. Um, but I like these because they're double sided. And so, um, when I'm giving out tickets at a party, you know, I will give them one and then I'll keep the other one. I like to give out a lot of tickets at my party for people. Um, like when I'm playing, if I play my purse game, I give out a whole heck of a lot of tickets. 
Okay, so what questions do you have? Any questions? Um, if you haven't seen the video on YouTube of a simple party display setup, I will post the link below. Um, our co-founder, Kelly Gaines, shows you with the standard kit um, how you can set up your, your party display. You don't have to have a lot of, you know, products. And even if you did have a ton of things, I wouldn't recommend taking everything. Um, my home party that I just went to um, what, a, month, a week and a half ago, I almost said a month and a half ago, a week and a half ago, I obviously had my testers, I had catalogs, I had a couple jars of sprinkles, a bottle of soaks, I took a carton, I took my naked reeds, I took some go cards, I took, um, I actually took two simmering lights, and I took a simmer pot, and I did take three shades. Um, but you'll see in that video just how um, really cute you can have your home party display with just the items that come in your kit. And my thing is, and this is how I've felt since I joined Pink Zebra, um, you know, if you start with the standard kit, which so many people on our team started with, um, that really is everything you need to run your business. Um, and you guys will probably agree with me as well. Jennifer, I'm going to answer that question in just a second. Um, you get, I mean, all those testers, order forms, catalogs, I mean, you get a lot of product in that standard kit. So if that's what you choose to start with, um, I mean, th that's what I started with. I didn't have the money to buy the deluxe kit. Um, then slowly add on any other things that you feel like you need to have. Like, it's okay if your first party, you you have your kit um, and that's all you have. It's totally okay. Um, through our Quick Start program and through you hosting your own parties, that's how you get those items to add on. Um, I, that's, I'm a big believer in, you know, using those, those host rewards for your launch party to get, you know, free and half price things that you would like to either have personally or have to complement your party display. And same thing for your pink dollars. I know a lot of people use their pink dollars on cartons and that's cool too. If I had some pink dollars right now, I would be buying some cartons as well. Um, but if there's, you know, shades, like I'm super cheap, I'm frugal, I'm, but I, really I'm cheap. Um, I don't like to pay full price for our shades. Um, I, you know, I don't like to pay full price for my cartons. I don't like to pay full price for simmer pots and simmering lights. So, hey, Danielle. Um, so, you know, I'm just a big believer in hosting your own parties. So if you're, you know, new or newer, um, I'm going to answer your question in just a minute, Carmelita. Please hold. Um, if you're newer, where was I going with this? Oh, yeah, if you're, like, brand new, um, you know, plan your launch party. Um, I know I'm going to give Carmelita as an example. Um, she's going to do a home party. I I can't drive to Florida as much as I would love to. Um, I, could, I could check and see how cheap flights are. Um, <laughs> wait, wait, I'm talking crazy. Um, but, no, she's going to do a home party with the people that, that live near her, and then we're going to do an online party with um, some of her friends who can't make it to the home party either because they can't come or because they don't live nearby. So we're kind of tag teaming. Oh, all those orders she gets, we're going to bundle under one party. And like, I hope it's a big party for her so she gets some super sweet host rewards. Um, but yeah, that's the that's the idea. You know, that's that first month, your first party. Um, you want it to be, you know, enough to get some hostess hostess rewards. Sorry, I can't even talk. Um, that's how excited I am about parties. Okay, Jennifer's question. Do you let them put the most expensive item on the fourth line? And the answer to that is I do. And, but you don't have to. I do. Um, because like I said earlier, you're, you know, you're giving away a little bit of your profit. But I find the more I give, the more I get. And I'll find this. 
you know, stealing my thunder over there. So yes, I do put, let them put the most expensive item on there. I even, I tell them straight up, you can put your most expensive item there. Um, I mean, it, it's, it, it, it's all worth it to me. <laughs> like my goal every month is, you know, at least a thousand dollars in sales volume. Obviously I'll take more, but I work this business part time. Um, I have a full time job that takes up, you know, at least 40 hours of my week, plus the time it takes going to and from work, plus the time it takes getting ready in the morning. So, you know, all those hours add up. So I work this business part time. Um, and I don't mind giving, you know, giving that kind of deal on the fourth item. It doesn't, um, it doesn't really bother me. Um, okay, and then Carmelita says, if you meet someone you don't know and they want to host a party, what safety measures do you have? Yeah, if you are, if you don't know them and they want to have a party, uh, I would recommend a neutral location. Like some restaurants, um, like some, you know, pizza places might have a party room. Some Paneras have a party room that you can reserve. Um, but I would think that they would be understanding if you don't, I mean, if, you guys just meet at a vendor event. Now, um, I've met people at a vendor ev at vendor events before and booked home parties with them. Um, I usually, t I would take my sister. I mean, I took my sister one time, not because I was like scared, mainly because I was driving a good distance um, to get to that party. But I've, I've done parties with people that I didn't know, um, you know, really at all. Um, and it always works out fine obviously I'm, I'm still here but if you're not like if if anything in your gut says mm, I don't know then you I would recommend a neutral location for the party and there's there's plenty of restaurants and places that you can do that at and it won't cost you anything extra um okay I'm trying to think if there was anything else that I wanted to tell you actually yes Yes, there is. So I read a blog today and I don't think that I, no, I, I didn't save it in my inbox, but I saved the link in my bookmarks on my phone. Um, so this blog is from Million Dollar Party Girl and she was talking about the top party trends for 2018 and how, you know, some people think, you know, home parties are dying. Like people don't do that anymore. Um, but honestly they do. People do it now more than ever, but they're doing it in the form of, oh yes, I will. They're doing it in the form of wine tasting parties, painting parties. Um, they, well, I don't even know what it's called. Mary Margaret's done it before, but you like, go you buy this like wooden thing and then you paint it and then they help you make it extra look like look extra pretty and then you can hang on your door um but I can't think of what that's called <laughs> um there's my uh 31 tote again so this is just one of their their thermal totes I guess this is supposed to be a lunch bag um but yeah I use it for my testers Okay, so, and you might not be able to find this pattern. This, I've had this a couple years. Um, so, uh, what we have to do is we have to figure out a way to make our parties more interactive. And I'm even thinking now, my last party was interactive. We, um, you know, we, like, they engaged with me, we talked. But really, I was standing at the front of her living room talking about Pink Zebra. Um, they had all tried Pink Zebra. They were already all using it, um, except one person. So I didn't do my regular purse game. What I did instead was I just walked them through the new catalog and just kind of showed them the new setup, how it's how it's laid out, you know, how the different scent categories. I explained all those um, briefly, you know, showed them the sprinkles. And then we talked about color. 
So I showed them how the catalog is separated by color. Um, you know, something new for this catalog. We just went through that. And then um, I let them ask some questions. And then I gave away a couple prizes. And my prizes typically are a single go card. So I usually will buy, like purchase a couple packs of these. Um, and now that we have like, whoop, I can't, there we go. It's hard, everything's backwards when I'm Facebook Live. Um, I like these that are um, the animal go cards. So I'll probably have, you know, I'll give away from either of those. Um, but now that our new, or now that our lotion is only $5, let me find it. Yeah, now that our Just That Soaks lotion is only five bucks, um, I'll be giving away some of those too. I don't, uh, I don't give away high dollar prizes at my home parties because I usually give away two to three things depending on the group. Like if it's, here, this is my formula. Um, I like to have one prize for every three guests. So if there's 10 people there, I'm gonna give away three things. If there's 12 people there, I'm going to give away four things. So that's kind of the um, the formula that I follow. So I like to do things like go cards and lotions. Um, now at my Facebook parties, I give away one prize, and it is a jar of sprinkles. Um, but I could totally change it up. Um, I just haven't, you know, thought about doing that. Um, so. My idea this is like this came to me this morning while I was talking to a coworker, and I think it's brilliant <laughs> now it will take more than your kit so um, if you you know if you're new and and all you have are what came in your kit you can still do it um, it's still possible but I think if you had you know three or four um, accent shades or uh, well, that, and then maybe like a couple of simmering lights. Um, it's, you know, you have to really think about it because it's extra stuff to take with you. But wouldn't it be fun if at a party you, and maybe maybe you don't have to have a bunch of stuff for this. You guys can help me kind of think it through. Um, but wouldn't it be fun if at a party the guest got to decorate a room in the hostess's house? So let's say the party is in the living room and her living room um, colors are very, um, you know, neutral. She does, um, you know, beige or brown. Then you could look in the catalog at the, you know, the, the accent shades on those pages and have a couple of them, and then you could let the guest um, decide where to place things in the room. So that, that's just an idea. Literally, it came to me this morning. I haven't really sat down and like really thought about it, but I thought, wow, that'd be really fun and interactive, and it'd be different than what I typically do at a home party. You would still want to give people a, a quick overview of the products, um, but like the main um, part of the party would be letting them you know, kind of go wild a little bit and deciding like where, you know, certain accent shades should go. Um, you know, do we add a woolly somewhere, you know, like the chicken, <laughs> if her living room is decorated for chickens, then I mean, go crazy. The other idea that I had, and this is not anything new and I've done this before at parties, um, but it's super fun is if you have a couple of different, um, cartons or some jars on hand of sprinkles, Letting the party guest um, each, you know, either, well, depending on how many people are there. So if you have a smaller party, like three to five people, then maybe each person is on their own. But if you have 10 or more, have them pair up in groups and they can take a look at um, the cartons that you have or the jars that you have. Sorry, my mouse just died. Um, so I just plugged it in. Um, hopefully it lets me end my broadcast when it's, when I'm ready to, <laughs> what if I was stuck here forever? That'd be crazy. Um, but yeah, so like, say you have, um, 
let's just say five to seven different scents. Maybe they're cartons, maybe they're jars. Um, give everyone the challenge of coming up with a sprinkle recipe. You can give them these little bags. I get these at Walmart. Um, you can fit probably maybe two to three scoops in here. So, you know, the bag is the limit. This is, this is how much they can fill. So um, if they want to do, you know, two cents, they can, or if they want to do three or more cents, they can, but the, the limit is that it must fit in this bag. Um, so then what they would do is they would need to come up with a name for it. And then they'd want to write out a little card um, saying what's in it. And then you, the consultant, um, you could smell everyone's recipes, look at everybody's name, and you could pick a winner and then they could get a prize. So that's just something fun. I've done that before too. Um, all right, so what's something else? I think on here. This doesn't really apply to us, but someone who um, is a consultant with Pampered Chef, you know, they, um, she gives everybody aprons to wear and you know, gets people like interacting with her during a cooking demo. So yeah, there's there's probably more things that that we could even come up with. You know, if you guys think of anything, let me know. But I think that decorating idea and I think the sprinkle recipe idea, um, those are fun ways to be more interactive at parties. So it's not just you standing at the front of the room talking to a group. So hopefully that was helpful. Um, before I sign off, does anybody have any questions, any last questions they want to ask um, before I end the broadcast? My cup is pink and it says Carolina Panthers on it because that's my local team. I hope this was helpful. I talked a lot. So bless you guys for, for hanging out. <laughs> um, but if you think of any other questions, definitely comment below. And I promised you I would post a link for the rings and the YouTube video link so that you can watch Kelly's video on um, just a simple setup with your standard kit. All right. Well, you guys have an amazing night. Bye.